sustain both of them. There are things God will allow to happen because the relationship must end. I'm not just talking about relationships with people. I'm talking about things whatever lot represents. Lot represents something that's been in your life long enough that God is saying you need to separate yourself from. 
whether it be habits, lifestyles. God is saying, I'm giving you, I'm bringing you, or I brought you to the place where I'm ready to push you into a new season, but there are some things you must let go. Because you, there, there, there's just some stuff you can't, some old stuff you can't take into this new place. Most of the time, single folks every year about this time decide this is the year I'm getting my man or my woman. <laughs> I'm walking out of that old stuff and I'm getting me this. I'm tired of folks telling me about this, about my single life. What if this year is not meant for that? Because there's some old mindsets you've not let go of yet. And the first person that walks in your life takes you right up out of church. Just let me introduce you to him. No, he doesn't go to church, but he's a good man. No, she doesn't love the Lord, but she's a good woman. You need to leave them good and where they are. That's right, brother. When we decide that we want something new, the first thing we're going to do is begin to think differently. Because I can't go into this place that God is preparing me, that God has prepared for me. I can't go into this new place with an old mindset. These verses we read explain uh, why Abraham could just give Lot the choice of land. He told Lot, you go ahead and take whatever it is you need because right now I need you out of my life. There's some things you stop fighting for when God is trying to give you peace. Stop fighting for things because when you begin to get the mindset of God, there are some things you can really let go of. Uh -huh. when I'm at, look, when I'm after my peace, stuff just doesn't matter. Amen. When I'm trying to get to a place of peace, I'm not trying to find someone to argue with anymore. When I'm trying to find my place of peace, look, I'm, I'm looking for folk who are peaceful. I'm not looking for somebody that's going to tell me what I want to hear. I'm looking for someone who's going to challenge me to move forward in life and not backwards or stay hey. Abraham told Lot, you go ahead. You take that land. When Lot moved on, God said, now look up. Somebody say, now look up. Now look up. He said, now I want you to look up, Abraham, because there's some stuff I couldn't show you while Lot was with you. There are some things, as long as you operate in that same old mindset, God is not going to show you anything. Amen. I'm tired of people telling me what God showed them and they have no life in him. And as long as I have lack in my life, I, there are things that I cannot see. But when he let lack go, God said, now there's some things I want you to do. The first thing I want you to do right now is look up. See, because there are those who've been walking with Lot. You're still depressed. And God is saying, uh, let Lot go and, and, and look up and you'll find out you don't have to be depressed. Yeah. When you begin to look up, uh, there, there was a lady uh, on, on KCJH and she would always say, every day she'd say, faith looks up. Uh -huh. Doubt yeah. looks down. Uh -huh. And worry Looks all around. Ask your neighbor how you look. 